Now we're going to take a look at the status background color template at SharePointDashboards.com. This is a simple template, uh, which is one of the first ones you should get started with. This is free. It's part of the set of 20 free templates. And you can just sign up uh, for free login if you don't already have that. So the concept here is that we have a choice column that has status values. You can use whatever you like. In our example, we have status values for not started, in progress, on hold, canceled, and complete. In the template builder, you can select whichever colors you want. And then also you'll notice in the themes dropdown, you can pick from some pre-configured themes. You can, of course, uh, make any kind of adjustments that you want um, until you have the appearance that matches what you like. At the bottom, there's some options. You can turn the border around the status on and off, decide whether you want a curved border, and then additionally, you can decide whether you want to have an inline edit mode enabled. So to start with, I would suggest go ahead and copy the template and apply that. So I'm gonna to go to the column header, column settings, format this column, and advanced mode, and select all and paste. Okay, so that's the settings I have. Notice because the inline edit mode option is turned on, it allows me to click right on the field and change it to whatever I want real time. If you don't like that, you can simply toggle off that setting. And then if instead you want to do different colors and set your own values, you build up those um, as follows. Click reset on the update series to reset the table, and then uh, you can add your values one at a time. So I'm going to enter my first value, which is not started, and I'm going to pick a background color for that status. This time I'll go for dark blue and then add row. Um, now in this case, I wanna have a light foreground color. So I'm gonna go with the font color of white um, since I'm doing dark background colors. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my next value, which is in progress. This time I'm gonna go for a purple color and I just keep clicking add row and then we'll do on hold and I'm going to pick a color for that and add row and then we'll do let's see we have canceled and complete still remaining okay canceled we'll go for a dark gray add row and then the last one is complete which I like to be green so I'll pick the a green color here, add row. I'm gonna adjust my font size. Um, go for 20 and then um, I can then copy the template. This time I'll turn off inline edit, copy, and it gives me the instructions. So just follow those steps and then go back in here and reapply my formatting. So format this column, select all, paste, and there are the settings which I applied. Notice I turned off the inline edit mode. So this is a really easy to use template. You can style it to look however you want, and I hope that helped, and good luck.